Good afternoon. It is February 20th, 20, 2021, Saturday here in Central California, Bakersfield. Looking forward to this evening. There is going to be a race called The 10. It's actually in California at an unnamed location because I can't have spectators as we have gone accustomed to. But it's track meet and it's called The 10 because it's only got two races, two 10Ks. It's going to be at 11.15 Eastern Time, 11.55 Pacific, I mean Eastern Time for the men. Uh, of course, thankfully, I live here in California, so I can watch it at 8 and at midnight or 9 o'clock for, uh, for you here. Entrance, Grant Fisher, Ben True, Woody Kincaid, Edward Chesterett, Chris Derrick, Mark Scott, uh, women, Marie Hall, Gwyn Jorgensen, Carissa Swicer, Elisa Cranny, Kim Connolly, Emily Enfield, and Eilish McLaughlin. And the big question is, who will hit the Olympic 10K standard? And that's basically the point of this event. It's organized by Sound Running. It consists of just two races, as we said. And both small elite fields are targeting the Olympic standards of 27-28 for the men and 31-25 for the women. Um, in the men, currently, there's only three men who actually have the standard. Lopez Lamond, Eric Jenkins, and Shadrach Kipchichir. And nine women have this standard. Well, it's possible to qualify for the Olympics based off your world ranking. Your position is a heck of a lot safer when the standard is in your back pocket. So, yeah, if we had the Olympics right now, uh, we'd only have three guys, Lopez Lamond, those three. So in the men's race, Edward Cheserick may be the slight favorite, considering that he already has Olympic standard of 27-24 back in December. Um, there is a Brit who's looking very fit and and taking down a strong field, and he may be running also. And then, of course, Grant Fisher, this will be his first 10K, and Woody Kincaid, his first 10K since 2013. And Woody Kincaid, of course, went sub-13 uh, in a 5K, um, I guess it was last year, up in Oregon on that really crazy fast meet they had up there on that track up in Oregon at the Nike Complex. And then Ben True, who's unsponsored, is running, but he is 35 years old. <clears throat> On the women's side, we're looking forward to seeing this young lady, Carissa Schweitzer. Um, she will be running her first 10K as a pro, and, of course, she has that 14-26 5K and ran so well at the World Championships in 2019. Eliza Cranny was just uh, .08 behind Schweitzer in a 3K, but she hasn't really – I don't think she's done any 10Ks, so 10K is definitely going to be going beyond her – Distance, of course, I always kind of cheer on Eliza Cranny because she has a bigger connection. Her step grandfather, Bob Moses, uh, an ultra running legend around here. And, you know, obviously, you know, so I really like to check her out. Emily Enfield will be in her first 10K since August 2017. She is uh, 30. Um, she has a championship record of third in the 2015 Worlds, 11th in the 2016 Olympics, and sixth in the 2017 Worlds at 10K. And so it'd be nice to see if she can get the standard. Um, what sets this apart is the standard chasing time trial is that the meet will have prize money, which includes, which explains why some of the athletes who have the standard, like Chester Ritt, Marie Hall, and McLaughlin, will be running. And the prize money works in a unique way. The meet is asking fans to donate with all proceeds to be split evenly between the winners and of the men's and women's race. It takes money to stage these events and broadcast them live. Um, yeah, that's something I've been talking about in the ultra world for quite some time. You know, getting prize money and doing it by um, crowdfunding. And it would be kind of interesting to see how this works. I think it's a really good idea. You know, just if you get a thousand people to throw in ten bucks, you know, you get ten grand. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the show notes so you can watch it this evening. And I'm hoping to see some fast action. I know some people really don't want to watch someone run 25 laps on a track, but it should be fun to watch and hopefully we get some good fast times out of it. And as always, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.